ECU, having a lot of uh, graduate engineers coming through the system, it makes sense for them to be working on uh, state-of-the-art equipment, uh, which Schneider has provided within this lab. So for us, we have uh, graduate engineering programs. When the graduates come out, they hit the ground running. It's a great win-win scenario for, for Schneider. I think the experience that we get in here, both in class and also physically in the labs, means that we're getting direct comparison between industry and universities. To have that two or three years before I actually graduate, have that confidence that when I leave I will be ready, that's incredible. I feel like it has prepared me in a lot of ways. A lot of the work I'm doing now is quite hands-on. So you'll be in a design room designing a part or a product and the next day you'll be making that product. And it's not a large company so we don't have the, uh, the luxury of being able to pass that off to somebody else to make. And I think a lot of students don't have that sort of experience in their university life. Um, thankfully we were able to have that experience and, and it's sort of really relevant to me now and I think uh, without that experience I certainly wouldn't be able to do the job that I'm doing now. Well, since I left ECU, I've um, started my own business, uh, Blocktech Engineering, which is an engineering consultancy, basically going on from what I was doing at uni. I've had that business for 15 years, and now I've started a new AI business, which is a tech startup, which is, again, following on from the studies that I did at ECU. I felt that the university had given me the skills that I needed to go out in the workforce and actually do something, rather than having to spend my first few years learning how to do engineering. I actually had the skills I needed straight from the university when I graduated.